is day one of being off the road and we're up at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> Oh Lord Jesus! Well, that's the that's the reason we came a day early though, because Harper's getting tubes in her ears this yes. morning, and because the kids they won't let them eat, yeah. so they always book them first, because they'll be all pissed. Yeah. Shut them I'll be pissed too. And our daughter lives an <laughs> hour away from a hospital, so even though she's first, so you gotta get up early, so you gotta drive all the way to the hospital and then do all that stuff. So yeah. you're going with her. Yes. I'm hanging out waiting for the car because the car's arriving today. Yes. I would take you and show you the the spot that we're in at the campground, but um, it's the middle of the night <laughs> and the sun's not even up yet. I don't remember the last time I was up before the sun was up. Filming RV unplugged. Yeah, RV unplugged probably <laughs> was it. But um, but it's an exciting day. We're gonna get our yes. our car today. Mm -hmm. I'll get to see it before you do. Huh? Mm -hmm. You better look it over real good, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. You have to boss me. <laughs> no contraire. <laughs> and then, so I get, I'm bringing on my whole setup, so I'm going to do some editing while you guys Marco. are gone to the uh -huh. hospital. Yeah. Cool. Get some work done. All right. All right. But first? Yeah. You know, but oh, yeah, for coffee. coffee. The, the reason that they call it the ass crack of dawn. It's because the sun hasn't even cracked its ass over the top of the <laughs> horizon yet. Uh huh. Shouldn't be up this early. No one should be up this early. No, I agree. Nobody should have to be up this early. But, but we gotta go get it done. Yes. Yeah, well, there she is. The new Rav4. All right. Just got her off the truck there, and uh, I went over everything, and everything looks good. So he got transported from Deland, Florida out to us and just arrived today. So she's all shiny and new. And I think Leslie's going to love it. She was just telling me that, um, I called her tell her that, that the car arrived. And she said that uh, she just went through a drive through to get some food and had to stop and turn the engine off to the truck so that you can hear. It's so loud that you can't hear talking on the drive through thing. So it'll be nice to not have to do that again. All right. Two of them. Here you go. The Mikey. <laughs> New, car. New car. You gotta unlock it first. You didn't unlock it for me? No. Mm. Mm. Fancy. I hate that we're out in the middle of country. It's gonna get dirty. Yeah. Oh, I got her all fired up. Uh huh. Figuring out all the glickies and chewies and gadgets. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you think this is gonna work for you? I think so. All right, we'll make yeah. it do. We'll make do. We'll make do. <laughs> I like it. Got and it. you won't have to turn off the truck when you go through the drive-through anymore. Yeah, that's gonna be so nice. And you can actually fit through a drive-through. Yeah. Without curb hopping and all yeah. that crap. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Ten miles on her. Ten miles. Sweet. Many more to come. Uh, yeah. All right, just finished with the first drive. First drive, how'd it feel? It's very good. Yeah? It's so different. Yeah, what do you mean? Well, because it's newer for one thing. Yeah. But so, gas, is, well, since you don't have to yeah. put much weight on it. Brake, you don't have to put much weight on it. Yeah, with the with the big you truck, gotta you got to really push on the, on, the, on the brakes. Yeah, so that's a little adjustment. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yes. Fancy. Yeah. So obviously this is Leslie's car. It's our car because it's going to be our only car. It is going to be our only car for a little but, while until like but hunting I season. I claim the vehicles to be mine because I'm the one who cleans them. Yeah. Washes them. But I mean before before hunting season I got to figure something out. Yeah. I gotta get this a, is not going in the woods. No, I got to get a little kick around truck or something beat yeah. up little something to take out. And yeah, it won't be this. Hunting. But no. we got a little ways to go. So, But this is Leslie's car. I'll get my truck sometime before hunting season. All right. This is I, mine and Harper's car. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta transfer the. You gotta put the car seat. Car seat. Yeah. yeah. It's it's nice. It's really it really is nice. I yeah. like it a lot. Now Leslie's out bright and early. <laughs> it's not 
messing with the new features of her car. She can't wait. She's like, it's like Christmas morning. She got to see what all this thing will do. I got to set it up to my life. What I didn't show you was we were out here till like, what, 1030 last night? Yeah, but in our defense, we didn't come out till like 930. Yeah, but we were out here. Well, we had the episode of RV Unplugged. Then we were on the post show. So we came out afterwards and transferring stuff from the truck to the to the car and so now she's gonna mess around with all the features well all the lickies and chewies well, yeah because it had a tag on it that says it's equipped with ambient lighting and well, you can control it from the app you can change the color of the ambient light oh my god so i must figure this out okay <laughs> and um the other breaking news this morning our daughter just hit a deer with her car she has a RAV4 also. I don't know what year hers is. It's older, but hers is a 15. She hit a little, a little deer. Luckily, Baby it was a little deer. deer. Well, not luckily. I mean, it's bad that she hit any deer, but yeah. it killed the deer, and her car got smashed a little bit. I have to take a look at that when we head over there later today. Yeah. Always fun with her. Yeah. What I haven't done yet is I haven't showed you around the the site. Yeah. This is exciting stuff. Let me tell you, not really what we pictured for our last site uh, of full time living. We're pretty close to this little hideout right here it's nothing exciting at all um the campground is mostly long-termers i've seen a lot of soldiers in here we're really close to fort moore fort benning and uh so i think there's some soldiers that live in their rvs out here and then work on on the military post we have more room on this side just because there's nobody in this site um we back up to the woods which is good for scout the hookups way back there I had to use all three segments of my sewer hose to get back there but so the good news is now that we have Leslie's new car and the reason that we got that new car first is because we're gonna sell this and then if we sell this we have to have something to, to drive around uh, so this is the final destination we'll sell the RV from here we'll sell the truck from here and then as soon as we get get that sold we'll get out of here if it sells quickly we'll have to either stay in like an extended stay hotel or stay with uh, family probably down in Florida but if it sells closer to the closing time we'll probably do the hotel and then if it doesn't sell by the time we close in the house we will go to the house RV will stay here that's only about 400 bucks a month all right let's get all this stuff figured out well we're out at my daughter's house now let's check out her car where she hit this deer a um, couple little scuffs it did knock the trim off here it separated the fender right there it was a really small deer we passed it on the way here and it was just it was, it was sad because it's a little baby deer still had spots on it um but it was basically the size of a small dog you can see my daughter's dog here it that dog's bigger than the deer was um so luckily it didn't do a lot of damage and the deer was coming from this direction just glanced off it and and then bounced off into the roadway but uh, let's see if I can get that pop back in. It looks like there's some some spots here where that might just pop right back in. And the fender might just pop right back in. It's not going to be enough damage to even uh, do a claim or anything like that on. But um, might have to. It uh, looks like there's a piece of this that's broken. Um, so you might have to replace this little piece. But everything else seems fine. Yeah, I was able to pop that back on. There's a little broken piece down here. So I was having a little trouble hanging on down here. But... Um, I was able to pop this back in. Can't even tell if that came out. Pop that, that back in. There's a little scuff right here. I don't know if that's from the deer or that's already there, but um, for the most part, I can't even really tell that she's she's hit a deer. Just sad that, uh, that the deer didn't make it, but glad that uh, Lauren and Harper are okay. I taught her well. So I taught her when animals run out in front of you, hit them as square as you can. Don't slam on the brakes. Or slow down if you can, but don't slam on the brakes and don't swerve. And uh, she did very well, even though the, the deer didn't make it. But glad to see everything's good here. Well, we just bought a washer and dryer. <laughs> yeah, we did. From Lowe's. Huh? Now we're headed to Sam's. Why Sam's? Because now that we're going to have a house, we could buy in bulk. <laughs> and after we get done at Sam's, we might go buy a sofa and love seat. Yeah. Awesome. We're cranking things off our list. Making progress, baby. That's right. You're a lot closer to me than you were in the truck. Is that a problem? Oh no. <laughs> kind of like it. We just bought a sofa and a love seat. 
Yes. And a rug. And a rug. And spoiler alert. Oh, Leslie's accent color is not going to be red. It's not. But you know, I'm up for the change. Yeah? Yeah. So let's not reveal. I'm not showing anything yet. Not, okay. Not showing the couch and love seat that we bought. Not showing the rug. Okay. So what we'll do is um, when we get the house, we will do a walkthrough and show you the house empty. And then we will like take you as we're going along yeah. and putting stuff in we'll show you that and then okay. once it's all done we'll do the walkthrough of the final thing yeah I, I i'm okay with changing my my color yeah i think it looks really good yeah i like it we were hesitant because we bought the couch and the love seat and then we were walking through the store we're like oh, let's wait on a rug because we really don't know and then but then we walked over this one i was like oh well maybe i like this one <laughs> And since we're having the stuff delivered anyway, we figured, hey, might as well deliver a rug. So we don't have to together. carry a rug with My us. Whole living so. Room in one so yeah, so today's been a busy day. Yeah, productive. Um, washer, busy. dryer, love seat, sofa, and a rug. Yeah. And uh, all, I think everything else is coming from Amazon. Yes. Except our mattress, of course, which is coming from Brooklyn, Brooklyn Bedding. Bedding. <laughs> it's gonna be so awesome. Yeah. So that's really cool. We got a lot done today. We spent yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. Got a, lot, got a lot of Amazon points, though. Yeah, I'm racking up the points, man. <laughs> it's going to be a good Christmas. I'm going to spend all my points. Yeah, so um, we're knocking all this stuff out. Yeah. We're, we're already scheduling delivery dates for when we'll be in the house. Mm -hmm. All these places have been very accommodating and holding stuff for us until we're ready. Yes. So, because we close in the house in a second, but then we go right to RB Unplugged yeah. Finale Rally, and then we come back, so we have to schedule for when we come Everything back. Everything will be the day after we get back. Yeah, and now we're getting ready to go into Kohl's because we no longer have a one-in, one-out policy. We can get as much this clothes is, as we want. Well, and the thing is, not that we necessarily need clothes. We will need some winter clothes because it gets cold here. Yeah. But what we have in the RV right now... It's going to take we, up like this much space. Yes, when we <laughs> hang it in that closet, we're going to look like we have no clothes whatsoever. Yeah. So, I would like to throw in a couple extra things. Yeah. Just. But yeah. it's it's been a fun day. Mm hmm It's been productive. Yes. I feel very accomplished today. And I feel like we're getting stuff that's going to go really good. A lot good of now. these stores still had the 4th of July sales going through that's the weekend. That's why we came out. Yeah. yeah. So, we're getting great deals on stuff. Yeah. So, I don't feel bad about All it. All right. Let's go look at some clothes. Don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> let's go. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you wanna get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.